Good morning, ladies. Good morning, ladies. So, some crazy stuff happened to me. I posted two live videos, and for some reason, Facebook is not letting me post them. Um, we know it's the enemy. A lot of servants of the Lord have been talking about this mysterious, just, you know, can't post their videos. I don't know if my video was flagged. I don't know what's up with it, but basically, it's not letting me post. It's giving me weird stuff saying I need approval, even though I'm the the admin so it's just some funky stuff going on that's how you know the enemy does not want this getting out but i'm going to record this again through my phone um but in this video i wanted to talk to you about using your anger using your situation to catapult you forward let that fuel you god is saying let what you're going through that hurt that pain let it fuel you all right to to move forward in your purpose to take that next step in life god is saying don't get even get seasoned mm. god is saying don't look back but look forward god is saying be a willing participant be a willing participant sis in what he has for you god can't act or move if you're not opening the door he can't give you something if you're not being a willing participant, which means that you're willing to change your ways. Are you willing to sell out for God? Are you willing to let that relationship go for God? What do you have to let go of? God is saying that one thing, that one thing that you want so bad, that you're holding on to so bad, give it to him. Give it to him so he can bless you. God also said, stop walking around fake there are too many of us in the body of Christ walking around with these masquerading spirits. You know you're not happy. You know you don't have joy in your heart. You know that man's beating you up physically, mentally, emotionally, financially. You know that job is draining you. Why are you walking around miserable? God is saying, my children don't walk around miserable. Come on, sis. Mm. God gave me Ephesians 5, 15 through 17. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are, are evil. Do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Do you understand what the Lord's will is? We talked about this, remember? What is your purpose? What has he called you to be? We also talked about strategy. We need strategy for everything, honestly, not just a ministry. Our relationships, like how to get out of a relationship, how to leave a job, how to move, all of that requires God's strategy. Do you know his voice? Are you listening to him? Mm. Other scriptures, Matthew 19, 26, Jeremiah 29, 11, James 4, 14, Proverbs 11, 14. Those are some other scriptures that God wanted me to give you that helps, you know, with some guidance, uh, helping you take that leap of faith. But I want to encourage you ladies to fast. I did a fast yesterday and the enemy beat me up. I mean, beat me up. Usually when I fast, I'm fine. I can go until about three o'clock in the evening. Yesterday, oof, around 10 o'clock in the morning. He beat me up. I mean, I was sick at work. I was nauseous. I I was ready to just fall out. And I'm like, why? And after research and study, the enemy will do that. The enemy will do that. When a fast becomes more than a fast, when a fast becomes your lifeline, because fasting is more than just fasting. Fasting is more than just losing weight or just, okay, God, I'm going to fast. No, why are you fasting? There are supernatural powers behind fasting. It's powerful. And the enemy hates it. Once you realize the power behind behind the Bible, the power behind fasting and obedience, and once your mind is open, the enemy is not going to have it. When you have no idea why you're fasting, you, the enemy is like, you could fast all day. You don't know why you're fasting. You don't know who you are. You're in a fog. I got you. But when you when you become alert and you start becoming freed and you know why you're fasting, oh, he's going to come for you. He's going to come for you to break that fast. Remember, if the enemy's not coming for you, something's wrong. Something is wrong. Now, I'm not saying that we're supposed to live daily in fear and be attacked daily, but you need to understand, if you're not moving with God, why would the enemy come for you? Why? And then you also have to look at, at, at 
the things you're going through because God could be trying to send you a message that yes I'm allowing this to happen to you I'm allowing you know the enemy to wreak havoc because I'm trying to get your attention I'm trying to get you to lean on me so there's a lot of things that go into this thing we are in a war we are in a war and God has given us the tools God has given us the tools that we need the Bible is our armor the word is our armor fasting is our armor fasting is a tool being repentful is a tool allowing God to humble us and cleaning us is a tool spending time with God is a tool are you utilizing your tools or is it woe is me God is saying stop don't look back look forward and let everything you're going through fuel you to move into that next part of your life that God ordained part of your life let God order your footsteps let God direct your path it's easier Trust me, I've got joy in my heart, not because of money, not because of a job, but because of Jesus, because of the blood of Jesus in my life. And I can honestly say that I don't care about who supports me no more or who don't want to support me. I don't care about what people say and what, what I don't have or, or what I do have. All I care about is Jesus. All I care about is God. And that joy is unshakable.